time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Rochester Community High School. Prior to tonight's contest, we have a special ceremony on behalf of Coach Rob Malco, Coach Joel Burris, and Todd Beeler, our PA announcer. Basketball. We would like to congratulate Sheila McMillan Keller on her induction into the Indiana High School Basketball Hall of Fame. Tonight, we also retire her number 20 from Rochester High School. <laughs> Sheila has exemplified the true definition of ultimate success of a student athlete. She excelled not only on the basketball court, but also in the classroom at one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the country, the University of Notre Dame. <laughs> Sheila is someone everyone in Rochester schools can look up to. Our Lady Zebra basketball program wants to thank Sheila and her family for being here tonight. We honor the history of our program and Sheila as one of the cornerstone pieces of our Lady Zebra basketball program. We are proud of Sheila and all of her accomplishments here at RHS and at Notre Dame. We continue to strive as a basketball program to build high quality, successful young ladies like Sheila for many years to come. Presenting Sheila with her jersey is former RHS basketball coach, Lady Zebra, former basketball coach, current boys basketball coach, Rob Malco. Congratulations, Sheila. ceremony here this evening for uh, Sheila McMillan. One, one neat thing though, Val, you, you can't, uh, you know, don't, not taking anything away from Sheila, a uh, great career, but uh, there's been a lot of great other players wearing that number 20, and uh, it was a hot number here at Rochester High School throughout, uh, throughout uh, at least my time at, uh, that I've been involved with Lady Zebra basketball. Yeah, there, there's been, yeah. Um, boy, I've lost kind of how many, yeah, I mean, well, I know Shelly Newell, I believe, wore 20. Uh, Courtney Felke wore 20. Andrea Melizer yeah. wore 20. 
Uh, Becky and Abby Malko both wore 20. Yeah, uh, I was going to say. There's, I, there's a number of, of them that wore 20. And so 20, the hot number here at Rochester High yeah, School. Both, yeah, I know both Becky and Abby wore, yeah. 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 Time now for our starting lineups here tonight. Uh, coaches. Starting lineups being brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. Starting lineups for Southwood. Coming in one and two, uh, first game of the TRC for them will be number three, a 5'3 senior, number three, Kerry Collins. Also a 5'5 sophomore, number 20, Gracie Lambert. A 5'7 freshman, number 22, Lola Weiner. A 5'8 senior, number 23, Emerson Chellis. And a 5'8 freshman, number 24, Haley Pershing. And coached by Kenneth Norman are the Southwood Knights. And you heard Coach Burris in the pregame give you the starting lineups. A freshman, number two, Aubrey Wilson. Junior, number three, Riley Clevenger. Another freshman of 15, Jaden Field. And two juniors, number 25, Aubrey Bollinger. And number 33, Ella McCarter. Rounding out the starting lineups for the Rochester Zebras. First TRC matchup for Southwood. They, the success of the volleyball team has pushed it back. Now it'll be interesting to see is this is just game four for them. Do they have their legs underneath them? You know, last time we saw a team that hadn't played a whole lot, it was the... Uh, it was pretty interesting. You couldn't tell that Northwood hadn't played uh, their first game. Right now, Southwood's coming off a 56-22 loss to Eastbrook on Wednesday. Now, Eastbrook's uh, undefeated in rank number four in Class 2A. So, uh, And they also played Oak Hill earlier this year. So they, I mean, they, they struggled in those games, but they've played strong competition so far. So as we get ready to go here tonight, again, uh, TRC matchup, Rochester looking to try to stay atop the TRC undefeated. Uh, do want to give a shout out to uh, Coach Davis and the McConaughey Braves. They they win the uh, Cookie Trophy today. They hold on to it as they defeat uh, Eastern by a final score of 58-22 this afternoon. A big win for them, improving to three and four overall. Really starting to figure things out as uh, they, their shooting woes that they had early have uh, gone away. Hit 33 three-pointers uh, since the last time we saw them against Rochester just a few weeks ago. Shout out to the Rochester wrestling team. They won the Plymouth Super Duels today, the Bob Reed cool. Classic. Awesome. They went 4-1 and one on the day, lost their first duel of the year to Plymouth, but won on a tiebreaker. Lane Horn, 5-0 and oh with five falls. McCarter to jump along with... Uh, see, that was 24 Pershing. Zebras control it. Here is McCarter with the basketball on the right side. McCarter goes back to Clevenger, left wing, top to Wilson. Back to McCarter on the right wing. In that zone is Southwood right now. McCarter splits it, kicks it back out to Wilson. Top of the key, three on the way, off the mark, no good. It'll go out of bounds. It's the air ball. It'll be Southwood basketball. Oh, strange. Aubrey didn't get, kind of didn't get her legs no, into that she, shot. Yeah, she wasn't uh, ready to catch and shoot on that one. So here's the Southwood with their first possession. They go right side. Southwood with the basketball. Now they bring it up to Lambert. Lambert brings it back over to Weiner. Weiner has it. Now into the corner to Pershing. Pershing has it. Back up top to Collins. Collins, top of the key. Now they go to the Weiner down low. And a nice move underneath by Chellis. Can't get the ball to fall. Rebound comes away to the Zebras. Here comes Wilson to push. Left side to Clevenger. Clevenger back up top to Wilson. Now to McCarter at the elbow. McCarter, couple dribbles, goes around. Now picks up her dribble. She's going to have to find somebody open. Going to have to hurry. Finally gives it off to Bollinger, who mishandles it, tries to get it up, forces a shot, and it's partially blocked. Rebound, Southwood. Here comes the Knights. Knights with the basketball. That's Lambert on the far corner. She gives it off to Collins, drives the baseline, steps out of bounds, turnover, Southwood. Yeah, Southwood there... They've got more height than Culver, and they, they, especially they're more athletic in that front line. Going to see press now by the Southwood Knights. And so they're going to try to get the ball in the paint a lot more often than Culver, which is much more of a guard-oriented team. Wilson trapped to the corner, throws it over the top. Ball's loose and going to be picked up by Southwood. Here's Collins down low. They leave it, and it's blocked by McCarter. That's Pershing trying to get a layup. McCarter, nice recovery, knocks it out of bounds, and it'll be Southwood basketball underneath their own basket. Rochester didn't really have to worry about the press against Culver, but Lady Knights forced a turnover right away here. Southwood looking to inbound. Southwood triggers and hit Lambert over the top. Now they bring it over to Collins. Collins on the near side. 
Collins back in the corner. Here's Lambert, can't handle the pass, goes out of bounds. Another turnover on Southwood. Yeah, Collins, you know, she's 5'3", and I don't think she even looks that tall. <laughs> and if she gets caught in the sideline, yeah. that's a problem for Southwood. And I think she kind of panicked a little bit. Wilson is going to be fouled as she gets the inbounds pass, and the foul is going to come against 24. That's going to be Pershing. That's going to be her first team first of the quarter. Pershing's a phenomenal volleyball player on their state championship team. So here is Rochester against to get press again. Clevenger has it on the far side. Clevenger finally gets it across to McCarter. McCarter has it top the key to Clevenger, now to Wilson. Back over to Clevenger. Wilson has it left wing. One dribble. Now over the top to Clevenger. Down low to Field. Kind of a high pass. Field has to go get it, which took her out of any uh, attack mode. And now they give it back out to Clevenger. Back up top to McCarter. Swing it left side now to Wilson. Wilson over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger, right wing, wide open, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Bollinger with the rebound. Bollinger back up, no good, but a foul coming. And that's going to be Southwood's second of the quarter. And I believe it's going to be on Lambert. We'll wait and see. And it is. Gracie Lambert picks up her first, team second. Still scoreless with 5.52 on the clock. As Bollinger will have two free throws, trying to uh, get that zero off the scoreboard for the Lady Zebras. First one on the way for Bollinger is nothing but the bottom of the net. One nothing, Zebra's lead. She'll have one more. Audrey just gets better and better every game. She does. And gets more and more comfortable out there. And Second one, good again. Two nothing, Zebra's. Here comes Southwood, quickly up the floor. That's Weiner. Weiner gives it off to Collins. Collins back up top to Lambert. Back over to Weiner. Weiner in front of the Zebra bench. They go down to Pershing. Pershing, turnaround jumper, got the bounce. Nice basket, Pershing. Pershing with a two points, ties it up, 2-2, two, two, five and a half to go. Here's the press. Zebras break it easy this time. Three on one. Bounce past the field, knocked out of bounds by Collins. Great recovery by the senior in Collins. Hustled back, knocked it out. Zebras had a three on one opportunity and couldn't take advantage of it. Here's back to McCarter, now to Clevenger, back to McCarter, right side now to Wilson. She'll fire a three ball. Off the front of the iron, no good. Rebound to Lambert, quickly ahead. Here comes Pershing with the basketball. Zebra's in that 2-3 zone. Top of the keys, Collins. Now they go to Weiner, back to Collins. Stolen by Wilson. Ball's all loose on the ground. We're going to have a tie-up, and it'll be Southwood basketball. Coach Norman uh, yelling at these guards to quit going over the top. Yeah, that pass hung up in the air a little yeah. too much for Coach Norman's taste. Looks like Southwood's trying to attack from the elbow. Lambert has it, passes it right to Clevenger. Clevenger down the other end, right hand layup, no good. And the rebound comes away to Weiner. Weiner on the other way. Weiner to Pershing. Layup up and good. Four to two, Southwood. Now into Wilson. Here's pressure put on. Wilson will just bring him down, down the sideline. Passes it out to Clevenger and a wild pass, and it goes out of bounds. Another turnover for the Zebras. Joel Burris not happy with Aubrey Wilson not playing off two feet. Yeah, it's just not shooting either. I mean, it's the passes have to be off the two feet. I mean, you're just more under control, and right now the Zebras are kind of wild in some of their passes. Coming in will be uh, Hoffman. Aubrey Hoffman will replace Collins. Huffman, a 5'3". Uh, junior. Lambert with the basketball. Now to Huffman. Huffman top the key at the volleyball line. Back over to Lambert. Lambert left wing against Wilson. Drives it in. Kicks it out to Pershing. Over the top. Here's Weiner with it. Now over to Huffman. Huffman top the key. Now to Lambert. She'll fire a three from the left wing. Way off the mark. Pershing tries to save it and can't do so. It'll be Zebra basketball. Another substitution for and Coach Norman. And that'll bring in Ashba. Izzy Ashba, she's a very good softball player for them. She's a great center fielder. So the press still on for the Southwood Knights. McCarter has it, double team, gets it on the far side to Clevenger. Clevenger trying to get back to the middle. They go over the top to Wilson. Wilson has it now at the other end. Here's McCarter, left wing. She gives it back to Wilson. She'll set the offense with four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Four to two, Southwood. Over the top to Clevenger. 
Clevenger back to Wilson. She'll drive in, leaves it off for Bollinger. Bollinger got away with the travel. Now they give it to Field. Field kicks it back out to Clevenger. 12-footer on the way, good. Riley Clevenger, first two points of the night. We're tied at four. That's a very good sign because Riley really struggled against Culver. Here is Southwood with the basketball. Huffman goes down low to Pershing. Pershing has it knocked loose. Wilson with the steal. Wilson one-on-one -on -one against Weiner, and we're going to have a foul on the floor. And Weiner's going to pick up her first and the team's third of the quarter. 3.25 to go here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We're tied at four. I'm curious to see if Coach Burroughs goes to a press at some point. Yeah. Because that's four turnovers already in four and a half minutes for Southwood, and Rochester is not pressed. Right. Inbounds comes to McCarter. McCarter up off the glass. Good. Nice inbounds look that time by Field. Finds McCarter, and the Zebras back up by two. And there's another turnover with a little press put on by the Zebras. And yeah. losing it out of bounds was Ashba. You're welcome, Randy. Yes. <laughs> Far will come in and sitting down will be Chellis. Here is Rochester back with the basketball. Clevenger brings it across the timeline. Wilson over the top, screen by McCarter. They give it to Clevenger. Now the give and go to McCarter. She loses it. Bullinger picks it up, kicks it back out. They swing it back to the left side. Here's Clevenger. Three on the way from the left wing. Off the mark, no good. Rebound comes down to Far. Good ball. Ahead. Good ball movement. Everything was good except the end result, but that was what you want to do. Pershing with the basketball. Pershing gives it off to Huffman. Back to Pershing. Now top the key to Weiner. Weiner has it. Weiner, volleyball line. Now to Huffman. Huffman to Pershing at the elbow. Pershing kicks it back out. Here's Weiner on the left side. She's going to be fouled. It's going to be the Zebra's first foul of the quarter. And we'll wait and see who for sure it is on. It's going to be on 15 field. Jaden Field picks up her first, but that'll send uh, Southwood to the line for the first time tonight in Lola Weiner. Weiner will shoot two here on the shooting foul with two and a half to go in the first quarter. Looking to try to tie it up. First one's no good. Still 6-4 Rochester. Weiner will come out after the free, if she makes this free throw. She's got a sub over there for her. Lola has to work out the kinks in her free throw shooting. Speechless foul. Weiner, and we've got a lane violation on Rochester, so Weiner will get another opportunity. One more shot. So uh, Coach Burr is not happy about that. It's the little mistakes. Not sure who it was on. Bollinger. Bollinger, okay. I didn't see it. So Weiner, can she take advantage of it? She does. Makes the second one. So now it's six to five. Weiner goes out, and Lambert will come back in. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Zebras take it out of bounds. They got pressure again. Trapped in the corner is McCarter. McCarter going to have to hurry. Finally finds Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball on the near side. Clevenger go back to the middle. They go over the top to Field. Field breaks it, and now we'll reset the offense. They give it to McCarter. Top of the key. Drives in. Clicks it out to Clevenger. Three on the way for Clevenger. Got the roll. Clevenger's got five, and the Zebras lead nine to five. That was impressive. That there were two defenders who were, were there, or th at least thought they were there. They split the defenders for Rochester, and here is Farr down low. She kicks it back out to Lambert. I thought Farr got away with a double dribble. And now she goes off to Huffman. Huffman at the elbow, kicks it back out. They go to Lambert, and then Lambert goes one direction. The pass from Ashma goes the other way. It's another turnover on Southwood. Coach Norman going to the bench again, trying to find five that uh, can get in sync here as Pershing will come out and Riley Thomas will come in for the Knights. Bollinger to inbound. She does to McCarter. McCarter in the backcourt. McCarter, one-on-one -on -one press put on by her, and that is Thomas guarding her. McCarter, double team. Now she gets across the timeline, gives it to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Now to Clevenger. Back up top to Wilson, down low to McCarter. McCarter at the elbow, kicks it to Wilson, fakes the three. She'll drive in, try to get it to Bollinger, now swing it back outside to McCarter. McCarter into field. Field then travels. Yep. Um, Ella's got to go up with that. Yeah, well, yeah. Ella had a I wide mean, open shot. Ella, Ella had two shots yeah. in that possession that she passed up. 
So with a minute 23, Zebras lead by four, nine to five. Southwood basketball now. Here's Lambert with the basketball, goes to the far side to Huffman. Huffman gives it off to Ashba. Ashba, double team. She's going to have problems, and she just chucks it, and then it's going to be a turnover as it's still touched loose, and it goes out of bounds as they're going to give it to Southwood because it was tipped, but Wilson took an elbow as she got knocked down. Now she's going to head to the bench, and Christine going to take a look, and Mia Hadashow will come in for Wilson. Right. I mean, I, Aubrey was just trying to make a play yeah. there. Uh, it would have been over and back if she had just let the Southwood player touch it, but yeah. I, I get it. You're trying to make a play if you get if because if you get to the ball, you probably get a layup. Right, but. right. So well, the substitution in, and then apparently they got some blood on the floor. So we'll wait. Assistant coach McCarter, he has uh, got the duty of cleaning up since Christine is going to go look at Stacy or uh, at Aubrey. So with 104 to go here in the first quarter, Rochester leads nine to five. Kind of been helter-skelter a little bit, uh, Val, on both teams. Where are we at with uh, turnovers? Six for Southwood, three for Rochester. Okay. So the uh, the turnovers are adding up for Southwood. We'll wait and see how that goes if Rochester continues to press or not as we uh, start getting things, the floor right. cleaned up. Is What Rochester had was starting to do a little bit is uh, pre, uh, yeah. set screens, even in Southwood's zone. They set a have Ellis set a screen around the elbow area mm -hmm. and then pop open in the high post because Rochester were having trouble getting the ball in the high post earlier. So if yeah. Ellis sets a screen, then you throw the skip pass over the top. Right. Then they got to hustle. Either Riley can take the three or if they hustle out to Riley and run her off the line, then Riley can just throw the ball back to the high post to Ella. I think Ella's going to have some open 15-footers tonight. Yeah. This injury timeout being brought to you by Pulaski Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers as Aubrey Wilson got an elbow to the nose, and so we're still trying to clean up. They're, they're following her trail from the paint uh, underneath the Rochester basket all the way to the locker room as uh, trying to get it cleaned up here off the floor. Randy and Val? Well, we always said Aubrey Wilson was hard-nosed. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely puts a new meaning to it. <laughs> Val, let's talk a little bit about next week as uh, we, we head to, uh, we're back here at Rochester on Thursday night with the Argus Dragons and the Rochester Lady Zebras. Friday we go to North Judson with the boys and then a double Saturday as uh, the girls are at Wabash in the afternoon, back with the boys in Logan Sport on Saturday. Well, Thursday night Argus will be here and that means Samantha Redinger who is just having an unbelievable season. <laughs> she had, is. A averaging what I think around 33, 34 a game yeah. and no, I didn't just misspeak. She had averaging. Averaging 34 yes. a game. She had 50 in a game against Trinity Greenlawn earlier this year. She had 47 in a game against Elkhart Christian. And she is a girl who is, uh, she's just lethal. I mean, she's, you know, she's a lefty, which is one thing. But she's also, uh, she can drive to the basket and score. She can hit that step back shot. Um, she's just a dynamite three-point yeah. shooter. She had nine threes in a game earlier this year. She is just having a fantastic year. And then, uh, you know, they've got two other nice guards in Morgan Barkas and Lydia Lee. Then Friday night, the Zebras travel to North Judson. North Judson playing uh, River Forest tonight. Of course, they got up to a little bit of a late season because they've uh, at least start to their basketball season because they had uh, their football team made it to semi-state. But, you know, with Coach Cheesem, you know, they'll be well prepared. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure they'll have quite the depth they had last year, but uh, I'm really interested to see what this Rochester, this Rochester boys team has just gotten off yeah. to a great start. Uh, it'll be know, a challenge. It'll be a challenge. to. It's always a challenge to win. That's a tough place to win. <laughs> it is. Uh, but I, I think, uh, you know, it's interesting. I think last year, you know, George Judson had so much more depth than Rochester. This year it might be flipped. Might I think be. Rochester yeah, might be the, the deeper team. And then next uh, Saturday, uh, the Lady Zebras will be at Wabash. That means Caitlin Honeycutt and Briley Boggs, their one-two combo. Yeah. And then next Saturday night, Logan Sport, the two Taylor brothers, along with uh, the Russell kid who's a dynamite three-point shooter. So it'll be a fun week next week. So I hope you yeah. can join us Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Logansport playing really well under Coach Lang, doing a nice job, and they won the Cass County Tournament last night. Here we are back into action after the cleanup of the blood, and uh, we're back to live action with Southwood the basketball. Here's Thomas with it. Thomas goes off to Huffman. Huffman tries to go into uh, Chellis, but uh, she was guarded very closely, knocked loose. Zebras pick up the ball, and we're going to have a foul. 
against Southwood, and it's going to be against Huffman. And that's going to be her first team fourth with 49.9 seconds to go here in this first quarter, still 9-5. to five. Nice quick hands by Audrey Bollinger, and that's another sign that she's, yeah. she's becoming more accustomed to the speed of the game, and her instincts are coming back. McCarter with the basketball to Clevenger. Clevenger back to McCarter, under 35 seconds to go. Zebra's looking for the last shot. McCarter has it. Southwood's gone to a man. McCarter has the basketball to Hottishell. Hottishell gets it right back to Clevenger. Now to McCarter on the far side. 22 seconds to go in the quarter. McCarter to Clevenger, under 20. Now to McCarter, top of the key with 15, and she's going to be fouled, and that will send McCarter to the line to shoot two, and that's going to be two on Huffman. So shooting foul. That's not ideal if you're Coach Norman, and Huffman's got to sit. Yeah. So two. McCarter back to the line. When your opponent's in the bonus, and when you just yeah. followed your opponent's best free throw shooter, probably. <laughs> so two on the way for McCarter. Trying to extend this lead as they head to the last half of the, or last part of the first quarter. McCarter, good for the first one. Double the lead, 10 to five now, as Field will come out and Hunter will come back in. We'll come in for the first time tonight. Second one on the way for McCarter. 15.7 seconds remaining in this first quarter. McCarter rolls out of the second one, no good. Southwood with a quick rebound. Southwood looking to push with 12. Southwood, Lambert has it with 10. Lambert with the basketball. Now to Collins. Collins checked in at the free throw. Now they give it to Lambert with three. Lambert with two. Lambert to Collins, and they're not going to get a shot off. That's going to do it. They're going to wave it off. And at the end of the first quarter, Rochester leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard 10-5. to five. Back with the second quarter after this, you're listening to Zebra Basketball. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School and at the end of the first quarter, on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Zebras lead 10 to five. Value your assessment of the first quarter. Turnovers have been the story. Southwood with seven turnovers already. And uh, again, I don't, again, when you only have seven players on your team, how long can you sustain a press? But it's gonna be worth <laughs> trying to continue because Southwood just does not look comfortable. They've been running their offense east and west. They've not been going north and south. Yes, they have. So we see what adjustments Coach Norman makes here in the quarter. Start the quarter will be Zebra basketball. And the other big story has been Riley Clevenger shooting five points so far. So the Zebras will start with the basketball. Wilson still in the locker room with uh, Christina. As it will be Mia Hottishell, Clevenger, McCarter, Hunter, and Bollinger to start the quarter for Rochester. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Now to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Wilson comes out of the locker room as we speak. Pass. Knocked loose. Clevenger. Right idea. Picks it up. Gives it right back to McCarter. McCarter. Top of the key. To Hottishell. Hottishell. Couple of dribbles. Now she's double team. Passes it out to Hunter. Hunter. Over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger has the basketball. 30 seconds gone by here in the second quarter. McCarter. Left side, dribbles in, 15-footer, short, and last touch by Hunter. It'll be Southwood basketball as we start the quarter. That well, was the right decision. Yeah. I mean, you got a ball reversal. You did, a couple of them. Uh, again, uh, that's a good shot. It'll be... Uh, go in. Collins with the basketball. They go down low, and the ball's knocked loose. We're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Jump ball, position south. 7-12 to go in the... Uh, will quarter be, will be Southwood ball. Yep, sorry, Southwood ball. And Wilson will check back in as the official gets the okay from the trainer. And so Wilson will check back in for Bollinger. Right, I, I believe the officials are kind of obligated to check to make sure it was nothing more than a yeah poke to the schnoz. So here he is, Southwood with the basketball. Three on the way by Pershing, no good. Rebound, Southwood puts it up, and that is Chellis, and comes hard off the back of the iron, and Zebras can't handle it. Goes out of bounds off the Zebras, Southwood basketball. Hit the underside of the rim, and it was last touched by Hunter. So Southwood looked to trigger. Lambert looking to get it in. Can't get it to Pershing. She goes over the top. Now Weiner has it. Back over to Collins. Collins, right wing to Lambert, three from the corner, on the way, good. 
Lambert with her first points of the night. And it's down to a two-point zebra lead. 10 to eight over the top. Hottishell just throws it, and it's stolen by Southwood. Her pass is almost stolen by Rochester. Now here's Pershing, a 10-footer, no good. Rebound fought for. Chellis has it, she's gonna be fouled. And that all started with the pass on the inbounds that uh, Mia Hottishell threw it kind of high and hung in the air, and she Southwood was able to go get it. Hottishell gonna pick up the foul as well. Her first team's first of the quarter. And that will send Chellis to the line to shoot two. Try to, opportunity here for Southwood to tie this contest up. And it's off the front of the iron, no good. And Bollinger and Field will both come back in. Hunter and Hottishell will sit down. So the original five back on the floor for Rochester. And Huffman, excuse me, Collins will come out and coming back in is Ashba for Southwood. Chellis has another free throw coming. Try to cut the, the deficit to one. And she gets that one to go. Kind of a line drive free throw shooter. She got that one to fall. Here's the press again by Southwood. Wilson has the basketball. Tip from behind, out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. Weiner coming from behind, able to tip it out. 10 to nine with 6.34 to go here in the first half. Clevenger will inbound it. She'll throw it to Wilson in the backcourt. Wilson gets it across, now to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson. Wilson at the volleyball line to Clevenger. Into McCarter at the paint. McCarter back out to Wilson. To Clevenger, right side. Back to Wilson on the left wing. Go to McCarter, free throw line jumper coming for McCarter, got the bounce. Ella McCarter with her first points of the quarter. She's got five on the evening, and it's 12 to nine. Here is Southwood on the other end. Zebra's trying to trap in the corner, and Lambert gets it out. Now over to Weiner. Weiner back to Lambert. Lambert over the top to Pershing. She kicks it out. Here's a three ball on the way for Southwood. Banked in for Ashba. Ashba banks in a three and ties this thing up at 12. Here's Wilson. That was just a bullet off the backboard. <laughs> it was. McCarter. Now to Clevenger, five and a half to go before halftime. Tied at 12. Wilson back up top. Left side now to McCarter. McCarter to Wilson to Clevenger. Back to Wilson, now she'll penetrate. Kick it out left side to McCarter. She'll drive, leave it for Bollinger. Bollinger mishandles it. It's kind of an odd pass as Bollinger was kind of going with it and that's a tough pass to, to catch and to make for McCarter. Right, and I mean. Ties it up, it'll be zebra basketball. Audrey was trying to cut from the high yeah. post, and if she if she had caught it cleanly, she would have had a, either a baby jumper or a layup at the rim. So Field will inbound underneath the basket left side for Rochester. Field throws it over the top to McCarter way too hard, and Lambert picks it off. Lambert going coast to coast, and she double dribbles. She felt the pressure of the Lady Zebras and double dribbled, so another turnover on Southwood. But... Here's Bollinger trying to get it in. She will to McCarter, who's quickly trapped in the corner. McCarter dribbles her way out of it. Now McCarter, jump stops, gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger goes down low to field. Field against Chellis. Now she's double teamed. She's going to have to get rid of it. She does to McCarter. Top of the key to Wilson. Now here's a foul on Chellis, and I think Ashba got an elbow. Yeah, she's going to the sideline. And now Ashba will come out and coming in will be Thomas. 12 to 12 with five minutes to go here in the first half. Again, Jaden Field, when she, it's not necessarily the worst thing for her to put the ball on the deck, but if she, if she does, she's got to yeah. use it to get to a move. Right, right. You can't just do it for, for a, a turn. You got you to gotta be able to. Field has it inbound and gets knocked loose. Now Clevenger will inbound. She goes over the top to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Three on the way for her. Left side, no good. Rebound fought for. And uh, Southwood will come away with it. And now the Zebras are going to pick up their second foul of the quarter. And we'll wait and see if it's all. It is on Wilson, her first. And the Zebras pull back. And Southwood will have it with 4.49 to go here. Tied at 12. Southwood with an opportunity to take the first lead of the contest for them. 
Here's Weiner with it. Weiner loses it right into the hands of Wilson. Ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger smartly brings it back out as Southwood quickly down the floor. Now she gets a wide open three on the right wing. Off the mark, no good. Bollinger with the rebound. Back up, no good. And the rebound comes away to Pershing. Pershing ahead to Weiner. Hand layup, up and good. Weiner running the floor along with Pershing and the Southwood Knights take their first lead. Here's McCarter going the other way. Leaves it for field and it'll be last touched by Thomas. Out of bounds to Rochester. Back in the for Southwood, 33, Brooke Farr. And so Farr will come in. Chalice will sit down for Southwood. On the Rochester glass scoreboard, Southwood leads 14 to 12. Another substitution coming in for Southwood. Will be number two, Huffman. Huffman comes in and Lambert will come out. Well, it hasn't been pretty a lot for Southwood tonight, but they have been getting back in transition defense. They have. They definitely have done that. Field gets it into Wilson. Wilson swings it left side. Now to Clevenger. Back to Wilson. To Clevenger. Dribbles one dribble in. Now kicks it out to Wilson. Wilson to McCarter. Almost has it stolen. McCarter with the basketball. They leave it for Clevenger at the volleyball line. Back to McCarter. Right wing. They give it to Bollinger. Ooh, turn and shoot that. Bollinger had it at the elbow. Didn't realize how open she was. McCarter penetrates, tries to go down low to field, and it throws it out of bounds. Aubrey, that's one thing, and she didn't even didn't even look, and I'm sure Coach Burris will use that as a learning as they watch film, but she had a wide open jumper there at the free throw line. Right, and again, and then the turnover at the end of the possession, right. that was about not playing off two feet again. Travel for Southwood as they have pressure by the Zebras in the half court. Causing another turnover. Where are we at with turnovers, Val? Uh, 10 for Southwood, 6 for Rochester. All right. 14 to 12, our score. With 3.35 to go here before halftime. McCarter with it to Wilson, left side to Clevenger. Back up top to Wilson. Wilson, back to Clevenger. Now they go to Bollinger. Bollinger gives it to McCarter. She'll penetrate. Free throw line jumper on the way. Ball's knocked loose. Still on the ground, and we're going to have a tie-up. It'll go to Southwood on the alternating possession. Turns over to Southwood. And, and Thomas will come out. Coming back in will be Ashba. I think he, I think Coach Burris would be happy with the shot. Yeah. I think uh, got a ball reversal. They ran McCarter off the three-point line. She just dribbled, stayed under control, shot a 15-footer, just missed it. Here is Southwood with the basketball. Huffman has it. Huffman gives it off to Ashba. Ashba loses it, but right into the hands of Pershing. And then it's kicked by Field, and it'll stay with Southwood. I think Aubrey Wilson might have gotten away with one. If they, I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. Back on the floor for Coming back in will be Lambert, and Huffman will sit down. Uh, Lambert will trigger the out-of-bounds play. 3.06 to go. Here he is, Southwood, Weiner. Swings it far side, now to Pershing. They get it to Lambert in the corner. Lambert against McCarter. One dribble and travel. Turnover, Southwood. That's good. A lot of that's good hard work there on defense by Ella McCarter. And another substitution for Rochester this time. And that is Mia Hadeshell in for field. Because Southwood had hit one from the corner. So here is a press again put on by Southwood. And Ella was not going to let that happen again. They get it into McCarter, to a shell. Now to Clevenger. She breaks the press, gets it across the timeline. Back to McCarter. Top the key to Clevenger to swing it to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. shell open underneath, misses it, partially blocked by Pershing. And here's a rebound for Southwood. Yeah, Pershing got a piece. Lambert with it. Lambert into the corner to Weiner. Over the top to Lambert. They are definitely letting them play tonight. There's a couple of fouls there I think the Zebras got away with. Here is Pershing. Or no, excuse me, that's Ashba. Ashba has her pass stolen by McCarter. McCarter with the basketball. Now to top to Clevenger. Clevenger with it. Southwood in that man putting pressure up, especially up top on the guards. Wilson with a running jumper. Got the bounce and the foul. Wilson will go to the line to shoot one to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Ashba picks up her first foul. That's going to be the second of the quarter. 
So Wilson on the afternoon with just two points, but looking to make it three here with a free throw. Aubrey knows what she's doing. 14, 14, make it, nope, missed free throw. How to show with the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. Nice rebound by Mia Hottishell there. And that foul, 24 Pershing, her second, team third of the quarter. So Mia Hottishell now at the line to shoot two. First one on the way for Hottishell. Takes her time, eyes it, and does not get the roll. She'll have one more. Coming back in for Southwood will be Thomas and 23, Chellis. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Here's Hottishell with her second one. That one is good. Breaks the tie, 15-14. Zebras lead it with two minutes to go here before halftime. Weiner quickly down the other way, a 10-foot jumper way off the mark. Chellis and McCarter battle for it. Lambert comes away with it. And now we're going to have a foul on Rochester. And it's going to go against Bollinger. Bollinger picks up her first team three of the quarter. It'll be out of bounds now to Southwood. Lambert looking to get it in. Lambert. Gets it in to Thomas. Thomas with the basketball. Thomas over the top to Weiner. Weiner in front of Coach Burris. Weiner on the far side. Gets it to a cutting Thomas. Free throw line jumper. Doesn't get the bounce. Rebound. Bollinger. Gets it out to McCarter. McCarter will run. McCarter quickly down the floor to Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson on the near side. Back up top to Clevenger. Clevenger on the far side now. Here comes Southwood. The pressure. They're bringing those guards. Pressure out. Here's Clevenger, straight away three, forgot the rotation, and hard off the back of the iron, a rebound comes away to Weiner. Weiner going coast to coast, and a foul coming on Clevenger. It's an act of shooting. And that should be the act of shooting. We'll see if they call it before. Nope, they are going to call it. They're going to call the push. They're not going to call the block. They're going to call the push, so it'll be out of bounds. Just the team fourth, and the first on Clevenger. So Lambert will inbound, baseline left. Lambert looking to get it in. Lambert gets it in to Ashba. Ashba back over the top to Weiner at the volleyball line. To Lambert. Lambert now to Chellis. Chellis goes up, no good. Tries to get her own rebound, can't do so. Maya Hottishell comes away with it. 60 seconds remaining. Here's, South, er, here's Rochester with the basketball. Now to Wilson. Back up top to Clevenger, left side to McCarter. Over the top to Wilson. In the paint, they kick it back out. Hottishell's open to the block. They get it to her, now she kicks it out. Now they bring it to Wilson. Over the top to McCarter, left side. 39 seconds to go. Over the top to Wilson. Wilson, back to McCarter. Zebra's trying to run the clock down. McCarter into the paint, wrap around pass, and Hottishell does not go and get it. And that's a turnover on the Zebras. Tough pass. Tough pass, but. And another turnover as Collins will come in. 15 14, Zebras lead by one. Southwood basketball with 25 seconds to go before halftime. Zebras bringing those wings up a little bit, putting pressure on the guards for Southwood. Here in the travel, yep. Ashba shifted her feet around, trying to make the pass. Oh, that could be big. I mean, and if you're Coach Norman, you're thinking, man, if we can. Get a lead, yeah. Run down the clock, get a lead at halftime. Now you're down by one, and Rochester can play down the clock. And Southwood will put pressure on. They get it in. And now to Clevenger. And Rochester has the next possession arrow. Rochester with the basketball. Here's Wilson with 10. Wilson over the top to Clevenger. She'll fire from the three-point line left wing. Good. Clevenger with a big three there. Here comes Southwood at the half-court buzzer. No. And that'll do it for the first half. Zebras take a four-point lead into halftime on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 18-14 here at Rochester High School. Back with the halftime show brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier when we come back to Rochester High School on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Shout out to the Rochester girls and boys swimming teams. They've participated at the Warsaw Invite today. The boys finished third out of eight. The girls finished seventh. 
Jake Seifer won the 500 free, and he teamed up with Wes Steininger, Tanner Reese, and Spencer Backus to win the 200 freestyle relay. Zebras have the basketball to start the quarter, leading by four. It's Wilson, Clevenger, McCarter, Field, and Bollinger. Here's Field, left-hand layup, up and good. Jaden Field getting her first two points of the night and a great penetration and kick there by the Zebras. They lead in 20 to 14 now. Down on the other end, there's Chellis, and she goes up. It'll be knocked out of bounds by Rochester. It'll stay with Logan, or stay with uh, Southwood. You got me thinking Logan Sports since you're headed down there. Yeah, good no call there. Chellis just kind of yeah. threw her body into the crowd. Chellis has it up top now to Collins. Collins with the basketball to Weiner. Down to Lambert in the corner. Lambert back up over to Collins. Collins has it, top of the key. They'll reset the offense against Clevenger and a jump ball, and it's going to stay with Southwood. Clevenger's defense really pick it up here against Collins in the third quarter. Yeah, we talked so much about Riley's shooting, but boy, she's an improved defender this year. She's, you know, she, get, she got stronger since last year, stronger and quicker. Collins looking to get it in. They're going to have to hurry, and they don't. Turnover as they had Lambert standing wide open at the half court. Collins never even looked at her. Unforced turnovers. That'll uh, drive a coach crazy. Six-point zebra lead. 20 to 14. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Wilson now gives it off to McCarter. Right wing, top of the key, now to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson. Wilson. Now Clevenger back to Wilson. Zebra's moving that ball, looking for that open perimeter. Now they get it down low to Bollinger. Bollinger up off the glass is good. Nice move by Audrey Bollinger. Bollinger with her first field goal tonight. She had two free throws, now with four points. And the Zebras extend the lead 22-14. Another good look by McCarter. Weiner has it into Pershing. Pershing jumper on the way, no good. Rebound going to be fought for and jump ball to be jump Zebra ball. basketball. Zebra. I'm not sure what happened with Pershing there. She just kind of kind of faded off to the side. And that did, shot had no chance of going in. For pressure put on. Here's Wilson. She breaks it right up the sideline. Now she'll give it back off to McCarter. McCarter has it now to Wilson. To Clevenger, left wing. She'll fire a three. Got it. Uh, I think Coach Norman might need a timeout here. 25-14 timeout. It's a 60-second timeout for the Southwood Knights. We'll be back after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School, 628 to go into third. And Coach Norman calls a 60-second timeout. He needs to regroup as the Zebras... Uh, with uh, seven straight points to start the quarter. First two possessions of the quarter, Rochester gets it down low into the paint to field for a bucket. They get it down low in the paint to Bollinger for a bucket. They have four points combined this half already. They had two points combined in the entire first <laughs> half. Here is Weiner with the basketball to front midcourt after the Southwood timeout. They go to Pershing. Here's Lambert, three on the way for her. Looked good from here, but no good. And the rebound comes to field. Almost stolen by Lambert. Now McCarter will bring it up. McCarter, now to Clevenger, back to McCarter. Right side now to Wilson. Wilson brings it to the near side, now to Clevenger, back to Wilson. They go to the elbow with McCarter. McCarter back to Wilson. I want to see Field dive back yeah. to the block. McCarter just inside the paint, got the six-foot jumper to go. Ella McCarter with seven. And the Zebras extended to a 13-point lead, 27-14. Here wow. is Lambert. Lambert goes off to Collins. Collins with it, now to Weiner. Weiner guarded by Clevenger. Now they go to Lambert. Lambert has the basketball, dribbles in, kicks it to Collins. She fakes the three, steps into two, and there's going to be a foul on Wilson on the shot, and that'll be her second, first of the quarter. That is not a good foul. So now Collins will go to the line. She is scoreless for the Knights. And that was an... That wasn't a great, an 18-footer, a long two is yeah. not a high percentage shot anyway. 27-15, first free throw is good for Collins. She'll have another one. Soft with three for five from the line. And another one good. 27-16, here's press put on by the Southwood Knights. And they get the steal. Here is Weiner, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes away to McCarter. McCarter has it. Now she's trapped in the corner, gets it back to Wilson. Wilson will bring it up, gives it to Clevenger. Clevenger penetrates, down to Bollinger. Bollinger, left-hand layup, up, no good, but a foul coming on Chellis. 
And that's going to be Chalice's first team, first of the quarter. Great move by Bollinger, faked right, went left. Or faked left, went right, sorry. I was backwards. 5.14 to go, Bollinger back to the free throw line. Good for Bollinger. She's got three for three. Ashba back in the game. Collins will sit down. She's got th uh, Bollinger's got three points already in this quarter. And make it four. Perfect for the free throw line. 29-16. Here's Southwood with the basketball. That's Ashba. Now to Lambert. Swings it right side to Weiner. Weiner has it down to Ashba. Shot on the way. Blocked by Field. It'll be out of bounds to Southwood. 5.02 to go here in the third. Lambert looking to trigger it in. Lambert gets it over the top. Knocked by Wilson. It'll be out of bounds. Stay with Southwood in front of the... It's just amazing. Those last two defensive plays by Field and Wilson, you just would never guess they were freshmen. <laughs> Here's Lambert. And, and, they're, and they're still just figuring it out. Lambert gets it into Ashba. Ashba. Over the top to Lambert. Lambert. And the pass is to Weiner. Now over to Ashba. Ashba goes down low to Chalice. She kicks it out. Lambert, three on the way. Good for her. Three point basket. Lambert's got Lambert. six. And it's a 10 point zebra lead, 29 19. There's McCarter down at the other end. Nice take by McCarter. Just took that thing the distance. And a little bit of a screen set by Jaden Field. And uh, Clevenger is going to force, force a turnover from Weiner. It's out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball, another turnover on Southwood. <coughs> Wilson will have it. She'll bring it across the timeline. Now to Clevenger. Back over the top. Now to McCarter. Elbow. Kicks it. Back out to Clevenger. Clevenger. Back to McCarter. Down low to Bollinger. The ball's not loose. Field picks it up. Up and good. Jaden Field says, look what I found, and takes it up strong off the glass, and it's 33-19, Zebra's lead. That's Ashba with the basketball to Lambert, over the top to Weiner, kicks it back out to Ashba. Three on the way for her off the mark. Chalice with the rebound up and no good, but a foul coming on Field. And that's going to be her second, team second. Zebra foul, 15, Field, her second, team second. Ken Rochester's got to be careful about giving up open three-point looks here. Again, so, yeah. you know, one thing you do like, though, now you get a 14-point lead, and Southwood's going to have to play a little bit faster. Free throw is good for the Knights. And coming back in will be Huffman. And sitting down will be Weiner. And if Southwood's got to play faster, that might make them a little bit more turnover prone. Good. I mean, it's kind of a risk-reward thing now. you got to do something to get back in this game. Chellis with a second free throw. On the way, the lefty. No good. Rebound fought for it. Field comes away with it. Field then throws it out of bounds, but it's going to come off of a Southwood player. It'll stay with Rochester. Bollinger will look to inbound. Bollinger trying to get it in and just kind of throws it. Luckily, Clevenger saw it and was able to go get it. Clevenger with the basketball now. Clevenger, left side. Clevenger picks up her dribble. Now to McCarter, free throw line. She'll just pop it. Too hard off the mark, no good. Rebound comes away to Lambert. Rushed her shot. Lambert in the Southwood, looking to push. Down by 13. Here is Collins with it. Or excuse me, Huffman. Now over to Ashba. Ashba has it. Back to Huffman. Top the key. Now they go into Pershing. Turnaround jumper, good for Pershing. Pershing. Pershing has her first points of the quarter. And it's 33-22, and Clevenger can't handle the pass. And it goes out of bounds, turnover Rochester. 33-22, 11-point lead. Southwood looking to try to get it under double digits here. Here is Ashba. Ashba has it off to Huffman. Huffman gives it to Pershing. Out to Lambert. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by McCarter. Telegraph the pass. 
McCarter with the basketball. She'll cross the timeline, gives it off to Wilson. Wilson, left wing, will dribble it back up. Travel. She's getting ready to pass, and Clevenger cut. She went to try to hold on to it, and she traveled. In time, you're going to see Aubrey turn the corner and take that to the yeah. basket. And she's just a matter of time and just a matter of getting more confident out there. And because sitting down is Chellis. Aubrey is so strong that she can get to the bucket Blair. and cause some damage off the dribble. Huffman, top of the key for the Southwood Knights. Huffman has it. Now off to Ashba. Ashba double teamed and a foul coming. And it's going to be the third of the quarter, and that's going to be on Wilson, her third. 2.33 to go here in the third quarter. 33-22 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here's the pass in. They get it to Huffman. She drives in against Bollinger, and Bollinger blocks it. Last touch by Bollinger. It'll stay with Southwood. Ray Lynn Hunter will check back in, and she will replace Wilson. Also returning for Southwood, 14, Riley Thomas. Here's the inbounds coming from Lambert. Riley Thomas checking in. Coach Burris also going to bring in Mia Hadashel. Hadashel come in. Bullinger comes out. Kind of kind of favoring that leg a little bit. She went to the ground and kind of landed awkward. She'll go see Christina at the end of the bench. Here is Huffman with it. Huffman running jumper on the way. No good, but a foul coming, and she'll shoot two. And that's going to be on Clevenger, her third. Team's fourth, Clevenger second. And Huffman now at the line to shoot two, looking for her first points of the night. 33-22. First free throw, got the bounce. 33-23, now a 10-point zebra lead. All right. First, second one on the way. No good. Rebound fought for. Still loose. McCarter comes away with it. Ten-point lead for Zebras. Here comes McCarter. McCarter brings it down. Kicks it to Hottishell. She'll fire a three from the left wing. Off the mark. No good. The long rebound comes out to McCarter. McCarter's pass then stolen. Clevenger tips it in the back court. McCarter with a great hustle. Picks it back up. McCarter will bring it across the timeline. McCarter, now to Hunter. Hunter with it. Now top the key to, to Clevenger, and she's going to be, be fouled by Huffman, and Huffman's going to pick up her third, just the team's second. Southwood foul, number two, Huffman, her third. Team's second. 154 to go here in the third quarter. Tie, or excuse me, 10-point lead, 33-23. Audrey Bollinger trying to walk it off in the tunnel. She's been yeah. in a lot of pain. I'm not sure if she just banged knees maybe. Here is Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger brings it back up to the top of the key at the volleyball line, gives it to Field at the free throw. Field out to Hottishell, now to Clevenger. Back over to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles in. That ball's knocked loose, turnover. Here's Lambert with it. Lambert with the basketball. Now to Ashba. Now over to Huffman, down in the corner. That's 33 far, far travels. 124 to go to go back to the Zebras. I'd like to see Jaden Field get a touch in the post. Yeah. The, the low post, that is. Field just with uh, two early buckets in this quarter and hasn't scored since. Uh, Press put on by Southwood. Hottishell with the basketball. Travels. That was strange. They, Coach Norman was... They weren't covering McCarter at all, and Coach Norman was just shocked, like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. And then Rochester turns it over anyway. Lambert gets it in. Here is Ashba with it, top of the key. Now they bring it over to Farr. Farr, back to Ashba. Left side, Ashba dribbles in, throws up a running jumper, and a foul's going to come on the floor. It'll be free throws anyways because it'll be the team's fifth. And McCarter picks up her first, and now that will send... Free throws to Ashba. You see Ashba, only a sophomore. I mentioned her. She's their center fielder on their softball team. She's a really good athlete, and she's got a quick first step. She hit a three earlier in the second quarter, and a free throw here missed the first one. 33-23. 
She'll have another opportunity to cut this under 10. Ashba, second one. Off the mark, no good, and a rebound, McCarter. McCarter clears everybody out. She'll bring it up herself. Now to Hadashow, left side. Now back up top to McCarter. To Clevenger. Clevenger swings it over to the near side. Now to Hadashow. Hadashow is going to be fouled. And I believe that's going to be on Huffman. That's going to be her fourth. Team's third. And that'll cause Coach Huff, uh, Coach Norman to go to the bench and bring Weiner back in. Bollinger's back on the bench for Rochester. Wilson will check back in. Field will sit down. 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. 33-23. So neither Field nor Bowling are in right now. McCarter. It's been pretty rare that that has happened this year where both of them have been on the bench. Right. Wilson with the basketball to Clevenger. I'm guessing Rochester are going to try to look for the last shot. They want some ball handlers out there. 40 seconds to go. They give it to Wilson. Over the top to McCarter. Almost stolen. McCarter dribbles in. Kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger. Good for him. 14 feet, a long two for, McCar or for Clevenger, and I guess I was wrong in holding the ball. 35-23, down to Farr. Farr has it blocked by McCarter, goes out of bounds. Ella McCarter with a nice block, and Southwood will retain it with 22.6 to go. And Coach Norman going to go to the bench again and bring in Chellis, and Farr will sit down. Ella McCarter has just been so valuable in so many different ways, offensively, yeah. defensively. She's got three rebounds this quarter. Lambert looking to trigger it in. Lambert going to have to hurry. They do get it into Chella. She bounces back, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound fought for. Hottishell comes away with it. How in the world did that pass get there? McCarter with it. I have no idea. 12 seconds to Clevenger, to McCarter, to Wilson with nine. Wilson down in the corner to Hunter. Hunter has it with six. Now McCarter. They swing it. Clevenger. She'll fire with three. Off the mark. No good. The rebound tipped to Wilson, and that's going to do it for the quarter. At the end of three quarters on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 35-23. Zebras lead it. Fourth quarter on the way from Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School as we get ready to start the fourth and final period. Southwood will have the basketball as they trail 35-23 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras with almost as many points in that third quarter, Val, as they did the first half. You're right, outscored them 17-9. and Again, a 12-point lead. I don't know if that's insurmountable, but this is a Southwood team that struggled to score this season. Ashba with the basketball. Now they give it to Lambert. Lambert. Back over to Ashba. Ashba looking to get it to Weiner. They can't they get it to Pershing. Back to Lambert. She'll fire three from the right wing. Off the mark, no good. Clevenger with a rebound. Clevenger has it. Clevenger gets it ahead to Wilson. Wilson back to Clevenger. Top of the key. Now swing it. They go to McCarter. McCarter can't handle the pass, and it's stolen by Southwood. Here's Pershing traveled. Yep. Try to get her feet set so she could do a jump stop and get the shot, and she shuffled him. Turnover number 19 for Southwood, 14 for Rochester. Out of bounds to Rochester. Southwood for putting that, full court press on. Exchange of, is that we call it an exchange of turnovers. Exchange of turnovers. There you go. Wilson with it. She's double team. Throws it over the top to McCarter. Almost stolen by Southwood. McCarter has it. And Coach Burris wants a timeout. 7-16 to go here in the fourth. We'll see. Is it a 60 or 30? And it is a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 7.16 to go here in the fourth. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School. Coach Burris not happy with the way the Zebras trying to break that press. He calls a timeout, settle things down. Zebras will have it after the timeout. They go to McCarter at the elbow. McCarter will dribble back out. Now they go to Clevenger. She'll fire three from the left wing. Off the mark, no good. Rebound goes up to... 23, Chellis. Good box out by Chellis. Now here's Lambert. Lambert with the basketball. Down, down the far side. Now back over the top to Weiner. Weiner has it. Almost traveled. Now back to Lambert. Lambert, left side to Pershing. Back to Lambert. Top of the key. Lambert. Lambert out to Ashba. Good, good defense on the wing by Mia Hadashell. Weiner. Back to Lambert. Lambert. 
to Weiner. She'll fire three from the left wing off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Last touched by the Zebras. It'll stay with Southwood. 6.27 to go here in the contest. 35-23. Zebras with a 12-point lead. Sometimes those long rebounds are yeah. unpredictable. Lambert looking to inbound. Gets it into Weiner. Weiner goes back to Lambert. Lambert at the blocks. Side steps up and off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for, jump ball. It'll go back to the Zebras. I really like number 20. That is uh, Gracie Lambert, just a sophomore yeah. for this Southwood team. Yeah, she's she's going gonna to be something to deal with in the next couple of years. Yeah, she's the catcher on their softball team. She's a good athlete. Leaves. She is a power threat with the bat in her hands. So good, good to see Audrey Bollinger back. Bollinger and Field both back in as Hunter and Hottishell sit down. Here's McCarter with it on the inbounds, trapped, but dribbles out of it. I think Coach Burris will be happy to see that. That's one thing he was talking about the other night was not being able to dribble out of that trap. She gets it off now to Wilson, back to McCarter, top of the key. Swings it right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson, into McCarter. Elbow jumper on the way, too hard. And Bollinger gets the rebound. She's going to be fouled. And uh, I'm sure all Zebra fans, as uh, Bollinger goes to the ground again holding their breath, and that foul is coming on Chellis. Chellis picks up her third. Just team number one of the quarter, so it'll be out of bounds. Collins back in, and Ashba will sit down. Just under six minutes to go here in the fourth. Field to get it in. Does to Wilson at the top of the key. Wilson drives right side, now back to McCarter. McCarter in the paint. McCarter going to have to do something with it, and there's the three-second. Yep. Three-second violation in the lane. I think she had a opportunity to take a shot there, and she just didn't feel comfortable, but she squares up. I think she hits that. Yeah, yeah. Down the other end, Southwood with the basketball. Again, yeah, and I get it. You know, in this situation, yeah. you don't want good shots. You want great shots, but that was a good shot. Down low to Chalice, up off the glass, no good. Field with a quick rebound. Good defense by Audrey Bollinger. Field now over to McCarter. McCarter will get across, five and a half to go in the game. Now down low to Bollinger. Bollinger, left hand layup, up, off the mark, no good. Field with a rebound, up, no good. And the rebound comes away to Lambert. That was all, everything but down. Well, I mean, that's the thing about getting a shot up on the rim. Jaden Fields is a good offensive rebounder, yeah. then you give you a chance at an offensive rebound. Here's Collins with it. Collins against Wilson. Collins drives around everybody, reverse layup. Just kind of chucks it up in the air, no good. Lambert with a rebound, up and good. Gracie Lambert. Lambert kisses it off the glass for her first two of the quarter. And it's 35-25. Here's Wilson quickly ahead to McCarter. McCarter with the basketball. Back to Wilson over the top. Almost stolen. Clevenger has it on the ground. Now picks it up and gets it off to Wilson. Coach Burris is like, hey, settle down. Here's Clevenger with it. Back over to the Wilson. Into the McCarter. She'll turn around and take this one this time. No good. Field with a rebound. Partially blocked. Back up and good again. Jaden Field with two. Good concentration on Jaden Field. Getting the, the block right back at her. And goes right back up. Scores it. 12-point zero lead. Six points, five rebounds this half for Jaden Field. Here is Weiner with it. Now to Collins. They go into Pershing. Elbow. And she's going to be fouled. And I believe it's going to be on Clevenger. Her third. It's going to be the team first of the quarter. It'll be out of bounds to Southwood. And the substitution coming in will be Ashba. And Lambert will sit down. So Ashba will inbound. She's looking to get it in. Gets it into Chellis. Chellis in the corner. Now to Collins. Collins against Clevenger. Now to Ashba. Ashba has it knocked loose right in the hands of Pershing. Pershing with it. Back to Collins. Collins over the top to Weiner. She'll fire a three on the way off the mark. No good. Chellis tries to save it and does to Collins. Collins with it to Weiner. And Collins is going to be fouled. It'll be on Wilson. That's going to be on field. Her third, team second. I was mistaken. I thought it was on Wilson. It'll be out of bounds to Southwood. Great effort by Chellis to save that. Here's Ashba to inbound to Collins. Collins. Gives it off to Chella. Chella travels. Chella with a travel. She saw some green grass in front of her and took off a little too quick. 
37-25, 3.48 to go here in the fourth. Bollinger looking to get it in. Bollinger throws it in, and we're going to have a foul in Southwood, a holding foul as almost a turnover. And it's going to be Ashba, her second. Team second of the quarter. I'm not sure Coach Norman liked that call. Uh, I don't think he did either. Bollinger to get it in. Bollinger to Wilson. Wilson then trapped on the sideline and travels. It's not really the ideal location to catch that basketball because you only have one direction to go when you're trapped on that side. Yeah, that's 16 turnovers now. Here is Ashba to get it in. Back court to Weiner. She'll bring it across. Weiner to Ashba. Ashba against Clevenger, now to Collins. Collins with the basketball, now to Weiner. Weiner, right side. Weiner goes into Chelsea. Chellis. Chellis, double team, goes up, no good, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Southwood. Southwood with plenty of opportunities at this end. The ball's been down here for, what, two minutes, Val? It seems, yeah. <laughs> The power play continues. No, yeah, yeah. that was good defense by field. I, th I thought Chellis might have gotten away with a walk there. Top of the key to go to Collins. Collins with it. Now off to Ashba. She'll fire a three, partially blocked. The last touch, it would be off of Southwood Zebra basketball. I think Jaden Field got a piece. Yeah, I got a fingertip on it. Lambert will come back in, and Collins will sit down. Here is the full court press again by Southwood. Bollinger again to inbound. Gets it to McCarter. She's trapped in the corner. Loses it. Out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say it's off of Southwood. Okay. Whew. Zebras get a break there. I thought it was off of McCarter's foot. Good quick hands by Weiner. Bollinger will go to inbound again in the corner this time. Get it to McCarter. They turn and trap her. She dribbles out of it this time. McCarter will clear everybody out and bring it up against Weiner. Gets crosses the timeline. Tra uh, travel push, it could have went either way. Either way, we stay live. Field has it down to Bollinger and a foul coming. Kind of a helter-skelter at the other end and Field's gonna pick up a foul. It's gonna be her fourth. Hunter will come in and she will replace Field. Three minutes, one second to go here in the fourth quarter. 37-25 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. And coming in will be Huffman sitting down as Ashba. Well, you really want to cover those wings. I mean, if they if they enter the ball in the low post, so be it. But you want to right. run them off the three-point line now up by 12 with three minutes to go. Here is Huffman with it. Huffman with the basketball. Now to Lambert. Lambert back to Huffman. Huffman top the key. Goes over to Weiner. Weiner has it back up top to Lambert at the volleyball line. Now to Huffman. Trying to go down low to Chellis. They give it off to Pershing. Turnaround jumper off the mark. No good. Last touch by Southwood. Zebra basketball. Yeah, that's not a high percentage shot anyway. No. And you're down by 12. You need you need to start shooting threes here. 2.40 to go. Press put on again. Trying to get some turnovers and some quick layups. Here's Wilson with the basketball. She'll bring it right down the sideline. Wilson picks up her dribble, gives it off to McCarter. McCarter has it volleyball line. Hands it to Clevenger. Now she'll pass it to the near side to Wilson. Back to Clevenger. Top the key. Back to Wilson left side. Over the top to McCarter. McCarter over in front of Coach Burris with it. She'll dribble in, kicks it back to Clevenger. Clevenger penetrates back to McCarter. 2.15 to go here in the contest. McCarter to Bollinger. Bollinger back, swings it to Wilson. Back to McCarter. They're leaving Bollinger wide open at the block. Now they're going to go to the, now Coach Norman switching and going to man defense. McCarter, wide open, right down the lane, leaves it for Bollinger. Bollinger has it blocked and picked up by Chellis. Oh, that was tremendous by Chellis. Great defense. Here's Lambert. Lambert with the basketball in Southwood. Lambert down to the other end. Lambert directing traffic. Now she gives it back up to Weiner, volleyball line. Now to Huffman. Huffman to Lambert. She'll fire a deep three off the mark. No good. Wilson with a rebound. Wilson. Guarded by Lambert, gives it off to Clevenger. 90 seconds remaining. Southwood with two fouls to give. Here's Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Top the key. Guarded by Weiner. Now they give it to Clevenger. She's guarded by Weiner. They did the switch on the screen. Down kinda, to McCarter. Kind of wondering if Southwood has tired legs. They've been <coughs> chasing this entire yeah. half, basically. Yep. And they Only game four, so it wouldn't surprise me. There's a shot by Hunter, no good. Southwood with the rebound. Huffman pushes for the Knights. 
Out to Weiner. Weiner dribbles down low, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound, Clevenger. Under a minute. 37-25, Zebra's gonna go to 3-0 in the conference. Yeah, Wilson. you can tell Southwood, they're just kind of. Yeah, and there's one of the fouls that they had to give. Weiner will pick up the foul, her second, team third. Well, looking a little bit ragged. I mean, we didn't have a JV game tonight, yeah. so you're kind of wondering if Coach Norman could maybe juggle his lineup a little bit or his substitution patterns maybe differently than he typically would. But, Ashba uh, in and sitting down is Huffman. Hunter will inbound right in front of the scoring table. To get it in, in the backcourt to McCarter. 43 seconds to go. McCarter with the basketball, and there's a foul on Pershing, and that will be team number four. And now the Zebras will inbound over on the far side again with 40 seconds to go, leading 37-25. Stay with us in the post game, brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins as we'll choose the player of the game. And we get a timeout by Coach Burris. It's a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. Zebra basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hunter will inbound in front of the scoring table. After the timeout, they get it in, and a quick foul by Southwood, and that will send McCarter to the line as Weiner picks up her third foul. Team number five, so Ella McCarter going to the free throw line. Zebra's just two points this quarter. An opportunity for Southwood to cut into it, but they could only match it with two points as well. Here is McCarter with her free throws of the quarter. She had two earlier in the game. was one for two so far. That one is good. So it's 38-25. Chellis back in and Pershing back in and also coming back in will be Collins for Southwood. Nobody on the line for the Zebras. 37.5 seconds to go. Zebras are going to go 3-0 in the TRC. Move to 500 at 5-5 five and five on the season. McCarter, second free throw. Good again. Here he is, Southwood with Rochester, the basketball. Rochester still with a foul to give. Lambert has it. Now over to Collins. Collins has it. Back to Lambert. Lambert dribbles in, free throw line, jumper on the way, no good. Rebound, Lambert. Lambert throws up a shot, no good, but a foul coming. And that's going to be on a Bollinger. Zebra is shooting foul by Bollinger, her second. That's going to be her second, the team's fourth. But that will send Lambert to the line to shoot two. Lambert, first time at the free throw line tonight. She's got eight points, misses the first free throw. Well, it's that burst at the start of the second half, yeah. a 9-0 run to start the half. Where Rochester scored, I believe, on their first four possessions of the yeah, second half. It took did. a 9-0 run in just two minutes. I mean, some of those, we, we talk about a run. <laughs> it's sometimes a marathon. Second free throw, no good by Lambert. Ball's loose, picked up by Lambert. She'll throw up a shot, no good. Rebound to McCarter, 15 seconds. And McCarter with it. McCarter in the backcourt. McCarter breaks it, and that'll do it. The Zebras will win it tonight, a final 39-25 here from Rochester High School. The Zebras, 3-0, 5-5 on the season. Southwood drops to 1-3, 0-1 in the TRC. When we come back, Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins postgame show. And we'll have the player of the game brought to you by the Fulton County Community Foundation all coming up after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4.